All right, the decision must be unanimous. All those in favor of passing, please raise your hand. All right, all those opposed? The count is seven to one. We'll hold a discussion period. Could we get a recap of the details? Perhaps something was lost in translation. Yes, but before that, I must reiterate, all information discussed in this room is strictly confidential. As if we'd forgotten. A reminder for the weary. Now the matter at hand. We have an unprecedented discovery before us, the Diablo Crevasse, an island nation the size of South Africa with a population near 23 million, never before encountered by any recorded nation until three shipwrecked survivors were beached in one of its lagoons two days ago. We must decide now whether to release this information to our respective nation delegates and their action teams, or restrict the information and seal the file. Did you get all that? Yes, I did. Do you not wish for this new nation to join our union? I think the matter requires further discussion. What's there to discuss? They have apparent elder counsel and bountiful resources for trade. Why wouldn't we open up our shared channels to them? This is a nation of people untouched by the rest of the world. Don't you think us intervening into their society might be a bit destructive? <laughs> destructive? Uh, oh, we are going to pillage their land. Uh, we'll bring education. We'll bring new materials for them. Perhaps we should have a formalized statement from those who voted to open this information. We just gave three. Fine then. A rebuttal? Look, I don't disagree with your point. I don't disagree that it may benefit them to connect with the greater world, but there are unclear distinctions here. <laughs> Such as? Well, you mentioned education. Whose curriculum do we teach them? What language do we use to communicate with them? Our intel says there are 14 different languages across their population, Pendant region. More complications. When we approach them, which one of us is going to lead? I mean, Every language builds a different bond to the people who speak it, right? Every nation has a different interpretation of history. Whoever connects first may have the upper hand. That is a very good point. Upper hand? We're all on the same side here. Just because we didn't pass your verdict in the armistice hall last month doesn't mean there's a global plot. I'm speaking from a neutral perspective. What language did the shipwreck survivors speak? They communicated with the people in the Kvass. French. They were French. Long vive la France. Maybe we form a language touchstone to work with them. Multiple countries present with translators. Problem solved. What of education? What history? There's a lot to catch them up on. We're talking solely of introductions. That's a task for future meetings, which is why we need to vote for a pass so that our delegates can deliberate further. Well, that's fixed. Come on, we all know whose pockets the delegates' hands are in. For our next vote, I call Amendment 94B. To overrule a filibuster, the rest of the delegation can take an ouster vote. This is hardly a filibuster. Apologies. If the vote remains seven to one, it will pass in accordance to Amendment 94B. All those in favor? All those opposed? The vote is six in favor, two opposed. For fuck's sake! Whoa, whoa, why did you cave? I, I, I didn't cave. A good point was raised and I happen to agree with it. This is a nation that has no contact with the outside world. Lost the time. And we're gonna intrude upon them with our modernities? I just, I don't, I don't think that's moral. For the love of God, we'll be helping these people. Hold on. If they haven't had contact with other civilizations, there is a possibility that they haven't built up immunities for various diseases that we've, we've cured or found vaccinations for. And? And... If we suddenly intrude with our fleets of people, there is a possibility that disease could infiltrate their communities and ravage their population. Then we'll give them vaccines. Sure, 
enter a pre-industrial civilization and start just jabbing babies with syringes. I'm sure you'd be welcomed with open arms. Don't be funny. I'm sorry, it just comes natural to some of us. I urge we learn more about their resource. Once they discover the benefits of foreign trade deals, I think we may see a great benefit in the world economy. They aren't some playing card to be thrown on the table, you know. They may not grasp the inclinations of capitalism. Here we go again. Next, you'll be preaching socialism to us. Oh, you can find a communist under a rock if you wanted to. What better place to look for? Order! Please leave personal discretions at the door. We're a selected group of world officials here to complete decisions to benefit the greater good. We can't do that by maiming each other. Reset the room. All those in favor? Oh, dear Lord. All opposed? You haven't said one damn thing. And now you're switching. Where's your backbone? I've heard compelling arguments, and I'm not swayed. Rather inspired. Oh, what the fucking do? I feel like we're losing sight of the potential this has for the global community. It would not just benefit this civilization, we would also benefit from vital research. Is it so wrong to bring it up with our delegates? And where would it stop? If this decision leaves this room and moves on to the delegation layer, the circle widens. Red tape and turmoil await, and we all know what happens then. Oh, please inform us, oh queen. Stalemate. Gridlock. They'll, uh, put a pin in it. And by pin, I mean further data collection that flies in the face of the moral decision we have here. Moral decision? We're supposed to be objective. But don't we have a shared human responsibility? A, a common moral bond to do what's best for people? Who are we to decide their fate? They are people, just like the rest of us. I feel like they should have a say in how they fit into this world. No, but this isn't their world. There's a distinct separation between us. Would it be so wrong to just leave them be? Exactly. We have them for how long? We have found them. We should do this. We need to go in there and help. Okay, I think we need to get involved better. We found God. We need to go in there and help. We need to get involved better. We found God. Take a look. Sand from the caverse. Or so we're told. You're doubting the veracity of the research collection? Information is delicate. It can be bent and molded to fit certain needs. And can be presented as subterfuge. Maybe this nation is indeed 23 million people. Perhaps more. Maybe they are pre-industrial. Perhaps not. What are you getting at? I'm not gonna base my vote on a bag of puka shells. As representatives to our respective nations, there are obligations we must uphold that are honest to the constituents we represent. You're saying you've got a gun to your head. No. I'm saying my people elected me to make decisions on their behalf. And with our economic downturn, I must be wise to their needs. So a loaded gun then. Is this the determination that's going to further your own people? How you decide here? It could. It could be a factor in our prosperity. You're at a point of vulnerability. I won't deny that. If someone could offer you help, would you accept it? Of course. If someone could offer you help at a very specific price, would you accept it? It depends. On? On what we be given up. Your autonomy. Turn down the stove before you burn down the house. I'd like to hear. If you had an opportunity to benefit your nation, but in the process, you had to cede control, give up autonomy over your land to the ones giving the help, would you do it? We're not taking over the crevasse. We're not wresting control. We're not, but this world is in flames. A new nation under these circumstances may just be crisped and cauterized. Would you give up control? No, I wouldn't. I 
change my vote. Opposed. Well, that still leaves us three to five. We could do this all night, and I'm certain a consensus would still defeat us. Can we adjourn and defer the vote? In the event that we adjourn, the vote will be elevated to another subcommittee. Not our ring of delegates, but another voting entity. Which entity? World Commerce and Affairs, Deliberative Subcommittee. Jesus, they'll have a unanimous vote before the envelopes are even torn. Why them? Decisions have deadlines. Let's call it. All those in favor? All those opposed? One to seven. The group of you are sweet, aren't you? Banding together, opting for morality. Someone's gonna find them eventually. Someone's gonna discover them. And then we'll be right back where we started from. Except without the jump to get on top of it. All the planning committees, the groups, the task forces, in order to, in order to help this new nation transition into our global fabric, it'll be your fault. Are we not prolonging the inevitable? Are we not dying on a slowly shrinking hill? In the event that we both opposed, we will enable a protective ordinance over the crevasse. No battalions, no aircraft. It would be marked a restricted zone that we monitor. Is a peaceful occupation possible? By its definition, no. So what if instead we let them discover us? Uh, when they develop or come across us unceremoniously, we would be vesting them with control. Their own autonomy. A parting gift from their slumber? It's not a gift. It's a trust. Look, I'm not going to tell you that you're wrong and we're right because, frankly, your opinion is not one of deception or cruelty. It's a counterbalance to the greater realm. But I will implore you, consider the turmoil that our world is suspended in. Death, betrayal, turning against our fellow human beings. If they join us now, their destruction is absolute. So we delay now to give them a fighting chance. I can only hope that the world will be in a better place down the road than it is now. I'll hold you to that. Opposed. <clears throat> Eight opposed. The information would now be transferred to restricted status pending further developments. Our next vote the French shipwreck survivors. Now that this is restricted information that they are privy to, our next vote will be to whether to terminate them, to protect said information. All those in favor? Motion passed.